What up YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the exotic Xenophage in Destiny 2. And this is one of the most popular exotics among Destiny players. And in order to get this quest, you need to complete a couple missions on the moon first, in order to unlock the Dungeon Pit of Heresy. And after you do these, you need to head over to the Scarlet Keep in the Sorrows Harbor, and there are going to be four statues that you need to light in order to spawn the chest that has the quest for Xenophage in it. So to light these statues, just follow the order I go, and it's actually quite simple to do. And you know you did it right when another chest spawns in. And what is going to be inside is in fact the Xenophage quest. And the next step requires you to go to the Anchor of Light on the moon. And what you need to do here is pick up the light. And there are going to be six dishes that you need to fill with this light. And most YouTubers speed this part up, and it makes it kind of hard to follow, so I'm not going to do that in this video. However, feel free to speed up the video for yourself if you would like. But yeah, basically for this part, all you're going to do is, you see where I am, you pick up this charge light, and we're going to light these six dishes. And you have a minute between each, so don't feel like you absolutely need to rush, since they're all pretty close together. And after you light all these, there's going to be one final one that it's going to bring you to. And once you do this, you are prompted to the next quest step. And for this step, you need to complete four lost sectors, as well as finding the path fragments in these. And these are found by shooting the puzzles on each wall located in these lost sectors. Now, sometimes these do glitch out and it doesn't spawn in the chest. So if this does happen, what you need to do is you need to return to orbit and load back in. And unfortunately, you're going to have to do the lost sector again. I know it is kind of annoying, but this did happen to me the first time I did it. And I just wanted to point this out just so it is known that sometimes it does glitch out. And another thing to remember is make sure that you kill every enemy in the lost sectors. Now, in order to put these codes in, you have to shoot the area that I'm calling out as well as showing on the screen. And take your time with this. You don't really need to rush and definitely don't use a gun that has ricochet rounds on it. And since I'm going to be showing these on the screen, you can feel free to pause the video if you would like. However, I'm going to call out the order that you need to shoot them in, just so you know. So, starting off with the Archer's Line Lost Sector, the code goes as follows. Top left, bottom left, middle, middle right. Coming after this is the Sorrows Harbor Lost Sector. And the code for this one is middle left. Middle, middle, middle left, middle top, middle bottom, middle, middle right. And after this comes the lost sector located in Hellmouth. And this is a longer code and goes as follows. Top right, middle left, middle, bottom middle, bottom right, bottom right. Bottom middle, 
bottom middle. And finally comes the last lost sector that you have to do, and that is Anchor of Light. And the code for this goes as follows. Bottom left, bottom right, top middle, top middle. And after completing this comes the part where you need to have Pit of Heresy unlocked. And if you aren't familiar with the Pit of Heresy and how it works, for the opening encounter, all you really have to do is there's going to be three symbols that you have to go to, and there's going to be a sword that you get when you kill from killing the Yellow Bar Knight. And what you do is you take this sword over to these symbols, and you can only do damage to these enemies with this sword, so make sure you have one. And after you kill all of the mini bosses at all three of the symbols, a green light is going to shine in the sky. And you want to head over to that and kill all the enemies there, and the green barrier in the door there will actually go away and you're going to continue on here and you're actually going to see a bunch of doors and the area that you need to go is located in the top row second furthest from the left just follow where i go And once you do this, the next thing you need to do is continue on to the ogre room and all you got to do for this is go to the left and you're going to see this plate and what you do is you activate it and these three plates are going to spawn and there's going to be a charged light at the end of it. And you want to head over to that third plate, pick up this charged light and follow the path that I take. Just be careful for the ogres because they can be pretty brutal. As you can see here, when I get to the end, I almost die. But there is a nice area that you can hide in in order to get your health back so you don't. And once you arrive here, you need to deposit this charged light in these two dishes. And then this door will open for the boss. Now let me talk a little bit about the boss encounter. Just know that when you die, you're going to have to do all the damage over again that you have made. Now for this boss, there are going to be four different elements, as well as four different symbols that go with these elements. These elements are Fiery Dread, which is solar damage and has the X looking letter. Abyssal, which is void and the A letter. Neutral, which is your kinetic and is the E looking symbol. And finally, Thunderous, which is arc damage and the T letter. And these are shown in the room right before the boss and is used as a reference point. However, you do not bring the ball in this room room to do damage you have to deposit it in the boss room and this might seem confusing so i'm going to explain it real quick so as you can see since i have the thunderous element on the left of my screen i'm going to pick the orb up in the middle and find the letter t and deposit the orb there and now that i have done this i can use my arc weapon and do damage to the boss for a limited amount of time and just follow this process until you kill the boss you can't do the damage with any other weapon but arc if it is thunderous or you know so on and so forth. And once you finally do kill this boss, you want to head back to Eris Morn on the moon and Xenophage is all yours. And if you have any questions or if you want me to help you with this, um, that is totally fine. Come by my stream at twitch.tv slash triggs and I'll gladly help. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one, alright? Peace. Although it's been sad. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.